This is the political heartbeat of the Northwest. Bamenda, a historic town with historic political figures. You can think of John Gofoncha, S.T. Mona, and Augustine Gumjua, politicians that have refined the history of this region and of this country. With the emergence of Ni John Frundi in the 1990s, with his famous power to the people slogan that led to the creation of the Social Democratic Front Party. Some political analysts are bringing him closer to this exclusive group of politicians, this crop of politicians that have shaped the history of this country. There are only two chairmen that have existed. Chairman Mao of China and Chairman Fundi of Cameroon. If you want to argue, tell me another chairman. That too. When I meet, especially the girls, they say, Chairman, you look so nice, look fresh. I might look nice and fresh, but I'm tired. Beyond his characteristic and often sarcastic humor, the man described as Cameroon's opposition front runner faced the harsh realities of the current protracted armed conflict, kidnapped twice while alive yet defiant to the car and into his grave. Children took the guns, went to the bush. They are fighting first the population, fighting the army and fighting themselves. As a rancher, when you drive animals and they run and they are fighting to, trying to see how they can break this wall to go out. If they cannot break the wall to go out, they will turn back. And when they turn, please stay off. This is one of Nijan's political disciples, just like me and on that SDF platform, his political DNA vibrates with a critical reformative spirit. What were these things that you pointed out? Now, in the name of God Almighty, I want the entire nation of Cameroon to know that I love my best. They have changed it the way I want it. They are ministers. We are upon all from the French section. No one from the English speaking country. But now, people show us out of parliament, they have implemented it. We will give our very best uh, to make sure that what he has planted, the seed that he has planted, is put into ground and is watered to give the most beautiful flower the Cameroonian people can expect. So what is this political seed? And to what extent did it germinate in his political stronghold of the Northwest? The city camp is run about today is reputed more for commercial activities and a few religious institutions cropping up. But historically, the Social Democratic Front Party situated itself very much to this run about in Bamenda. Well, the party wasn't launched here at uh, the city camp is run about, but the initial plans were for uh, thousands of supporters of the party to gather in this roundabout and launch the party. Of course, that plan was cancelled for security reasons. And then the party was finally launched at a park in Tarikun, where I'm taking you to now. What you see behind me is the Tarikun market. But in 1990, precisely on the 26th of May 1990, it was known as the Intaricon Motor Park. And it is from here that me, John Frundi, and other top officials of the Social Democratic Front Party launched the SDF. The late me, John Frundi, said the party was being launched to fight for freedoms in Cameroon, citing freedom of opinion, freedom of conscience, freedom of gathering, 
and more pertinently freedom of the media and so with such words he raised his hand punching the air with the famous power to the people and launched the party it was a day meant to be very ordinary in Cameroon but politics turned it into a remarkable and memorable one. The Social Democratic Front Party was founded in Bamenda in 1990, the 26th of May 1990. Uh, you were around by then when this political event was unfolding. We want you to give us a very description of what you saw, observed and understood at that particular point. When this thing came up of launching the SDF, we are the grandstand on 20 May together. When they already announced that SD will be launched on the 26th, people are looking at him, looking at many of us inside there, as these guys are devil. They want to launch a political party. I have not seen any political party. See, most of those people around that time, they have known only CNU and CBDF. And then on that 26th, that he was to launch the party, he have come out with the release that they will launch the party at the city chemist runabout. The whole city chemist runabout, including the whole commercial avenue, were already full with military. Somebody who I don't want to call the person's name who said, Why don't we just go down to Takum Park and launch it? Lawyer Sama said, Yes, that's true, that's an idea. So we left, went down to Takum Park, climbed on us, all uh, uh, Larova, which was there, and then Singa Sanga stood behind him, then Tabale was behind him and held the microphone, and he launched the party. Everybody was so anxious to uh, have uh, change in the country and uh, the Bamenda man was ready to make his contribution and that's why in spite of the uh, military build-up, in spite of the tension that there was in the whole town, we decided that the launching was going to take place. When they created the SDA party, I was in the immigration in Douala. I left the police force, I took anticipated retirement to come to do business, but especially to do politics. Because at that time, I saw the way he was operating, uh, what they stood for, and I was very impressed. He is one of the old guards of the SDF from 1997 to 2013. He was one of the longest serving SDF members of parliament, just like Nijan, with his often firebrand speeches and declarations. This man also clamored with the same Tondara's approach for a greater representation of the Northwest and Southwest in government ministerial appointment in Cameroon. You to talk in National Assembly, hit the table pointed out some right things that were going wrong. What were these things that you pointed out? I embarrassed two prime ministers at the time. My dear brothers, one, two, three, four. I will reveal it now. Something happened that they were appointing ministers only from the Af Francophone area. But now in the name of God Almighty, I want the entire nation of Cameroon to know that I love my country. They have changed it the way I wanted. It's very important because that is my chief as a parliamentarian of the Social Democratic Front. What, in your opinion, is the greatest legacy of Major Fundi uh, since 1990 that he's been heading the Social Democratic Front Party to which you ascribe and you became a parliamentarian under this party? Is the one who brought the, the element of opposition. Now, if you take Ni John Frodi, you take other iconic uh, historical figures in the Anglophone part of the country, like um, John Gofoncha, for instance, uh, Mona, Joa. Where do you please Ni John Frodi? in this category of politicians that have marked politics in the northwest of Cameroon. I 
don't think they were as welcome as food. food. Yeah, they did their part, but in a, 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 a polished way, because they were both submissive, they were not welcome like New John Fundy. There's a difference between them and New John Fundy. So you see New John Fundy on a higher scale? Oh, yes! No shred of doubt about that. I am emphatic about it. But you heard it now. He used to criticize openly. He did. Because he used to enjoy, like the Bamida Baba wrote that I'm talking about. He himself said it is like a sing song up till now. You see how people are suffering with Bamida Baba wrote? Which is now under construction. It's under construction, but Fundy said it many times said that it become a sing song now that they're trying to do something. For more than six years, the Northwest and the Southwest regions have been gripped by chaos and carnage. As government forces battle it out with separatist armed groups, 4,000 dead and hundreds of thousands displaced, others kidnapped, according to several human rights reports, Nijan Frondi becomes a victim too for his entrenched position on a federal but a one and indivisible Cameroon. Those who say they are fighting, they are fighting three fronts. First themselves because we are all living witnesses to the fact that most of them killed themselves. Then they have to start fighting the population that they are supposed to be fighting to protect because of ransoms and all the like. And then they are fighting the army. It's, uh a complicated situation but don't forget the fact that two times twice he has been kidnapped and the first time he was kidnapped was on his way to Congo to bury one of his parliamentarians honorable Banadam and he was kidnapped in the Solan and there you got him when the when these young men were being teleguided from abroad to denounce parliament and ask the parliamentarians to leave the heavy cycle as, as a demonstration of supporting the crisis. And he said, no, you got it. They, 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 they videoed it. He said, no, I am for the unity of this country and what you are doing is not going to change anything. And then when, from his home here in Tarakul, he was taken. And there in the camp of, of, the, of the separatists, Fundi said, I cannot withdraw the SDF from parliament. How, how many people have done that in order to ensure that this country remains one in peace? and to prove to those who want to divide the country that it is not a good thing. Ne John Frundi has been described as the opposition titan in Cameroon as the forefather of modern day democracy in the country and those are the headlines that for years have remained in the spotlight but once you come to his native babatu here there are other headlines coming out from here a man described as a developer a philanthropist a farmer and also a caturera yes a caturera somebody who helped to promote education health and religion in this part of the Northwest. He himself built two classrooms and equipped it with the library as he has so said. Every December he comes to see how the children are faring. When we had a youth day center here created, he makes sure he fits the whole school 
Go Alatin, Bafuchu, and Baba. So all, this was the youth day center. He was not a father who would fit uh, a child, two children with two fingers. Fit with one. A child was a child to him. So when they talk of Santa Mafia, it might be it's in terms of politics, but we are just peas and farmers here. Yeah. Because if you can come to this school, d distribute books, go to the other school, share books. He wasn't only giving it to the Baba children. To me, apart from uh, uh, Nuti, Fudi was the next big farmer in the Northwest. Both on cattle and agricultural farming. Fudi have three very gigantic farms in, in the Menchum division where he happens come three times a year. During the, the last agri show in uh, Boloa, Fundi had the highest, the best cattle that was presented that took the first prize. And all his animals were of high quality. Anything he does was classi classified. Yams, granite, all of them were, were, were well done. Back in Barmada, the emblematic chairman, before entering into mainstream politics in the 1990s, was also reputed for his famous EBB bookshop, situated along the city's commercial avenue. The bookshop has long disappeared from the scenes, but many have followed Nijan's footprint, some driven by profit interest rather than Nijan Fundi's inclined passion. He was one of the pioneer booksellers in this town. The first bookshop, as I can say, was competing with press bookshop. It operates in the form of a library. In the form of a library. So back then, people can go there and do research on whatsoever thing they need, and then they buy and collect. For us, we are doing the business for financial sustainability. But for them, it was like, um, let me say, it was like a dream, like, um, let me say, like a passion for them. The Social Democratic Front Party is sailing in troubled waters. It has been riddled by internal rivalry and the current protracted armed conflict in the northwest and southwest is threatening to drown the party away from its main opposition status. But party officials insist that the departed chairman often had a political candle that can always outpower the forces of darkness to steer the SDF back on course. Only told me, don't have to... You are mayor of Kumbo. Despite your age, in 1996, I accept that you should be mayor of Kumbo because if you have to succeed, put the love for people before the love for money. And he told me that if you love money, you will not love people. But when you love people, you have the money to take care of the people. And Fundi showed it that he never loved money. And that is why he sent people to parliament, he sent people to the senate, he sent people to councils, people and mayors, and he sat in his house leading the party, advising the party, the people, and leading the people, and leading Cameroonians. Fundi is above the SDF. If you were not close to him, you would not know the chairman. Because those who were, people had impression of the chairman as uh, a dictator, uh, wicked, uh, uh, not friendly, none of the above, none of the above. The chairman was an extremely welcoming somebody with a very huge heart the chairman was somebody who was very close to the population and during his tour he taught Cameroon he taught all the subdivisions of Cameroon all more than 23 times I did 19 times with him he never slept in any hotel he slept in the houses of his members that's what they call we call, they, they call militants 
so you see there was a man was extremely close to the population Nigel Fundi is a very important figure in the political history of this country and you don't need to agree with Frundi, but Frundi is an icon of his own time. And uh, one of the things we have been talking about democracy uh, is that the model of democracy we have doesn't make, should not make people enemies if they are not in the same camp. I greatly admire Frundi. Uh, people have their opinions. And Frundi had his own stance. We are going to call our democracy mature only when we reach that point where you hold your point, I hold my point, we still sit down and have a beer. I think this is where we are failing. Look at the Ambazonia crisis, as they call it, or the Anglophone crisis. You disagree with anybody, you are an enemy. It doesn't need to be like that. Everybody has a right to their opinions. I have a right to my own, you have a right to your own. But if I disagree with you, that doesn't make me your enemy. So I am using this chance to really appeal to our people that the opinions we hold belong to us. But we can disagree on political opinions, but we are still friends, we are still family, we are still brothers. He became a political figure of this nation, icon in the political field in this nation. History will come to remember him as a state man who fought for the integrity of the treaty of this country, for living together, and he mobilized the youth of this nation through his political parties, through sports, Yes, giving them hope and asking them to abide by the laws and regulations of the Republic. And I remember what he usually told me each time we were discussing on the political issue in this country, reminding me what he was advised to do in the 90s to stage war in this country. He refused. And he still refused to do that uh, when we were uh, pressurized. Uh, at the beginning of the crisis, uh, to do it again. He worked and achieved very little in a very difficult atmosphere. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. So, in fact, thanks to him, that other politicians are summoning courage to, uh, to do what they are doing. There are going to be very few Cameroonians, whether yesterday, today, or tomorrow, who shall have contributed uh, to this country being what it is today, as John Fundy did. He ushered multi-partism. He remained steadfast for a very long time. The quarrels that he has had has been with us within the party. But as a Cameroonian, I think that every Cameroonian should continue to think and pray for him and his family. He, John Fundy was a great developer. So we are all sad for missing him. And I believe the ancestors of this village My son have more, not only one again. We are praying that the next political outing, if there is a return to normalcy, uh, the SDF is going to bounce back. The party will uphold this legacy and it doesn't need an individual to do it. It is a group. Okay, I will do my very best, but I cannot do more than what the entire group of people called the Social Democratic Front will do. And whatever it takes to make sure that this legacy is upheld will do so. From all the declarations from the Social Democratic Front, political analysts and administrators alike, one thing comes out clear. Nijan Frundi leaves, Nijan Frundi dies, and Nijan Frundi leaves again. Mm-hmm.